What's up, pinball fans? My name is Rudy, aka Loaded Weapon, and tonight I'm going to go over the VPU patcher system, basically the patcher remix. Um, so I still see a lot of questions. People are saying they're having errors, or they don't know exactly how to start, what files to get, how to use it, and all that. So I'm going to go step by step what you need to get, how to use it, and how to install it. So here we go, we're going to start out, we're going to go to the uh, VP Universe and we're going to go to the VPU Remix system. I'm going to put the link down below the video and all you're going to do is hit download this file. Once you do that, it's going to open up and then you want to make sure you unblock it. If you're not using 7-zip or something like that, you need to unblock it and then just drag it out to your desktop. It's going to be on a folder and all you need to do is open it up and it just has a exe in here that we're going to use okay so once you have that you already have the uh, mod or the program so now we're just going to go to the download section go downloads and as you see in the vpu remix mods here's uh, all my tables so let's just say you wanted to get rescue 911 we're going to click on it we're going to hit download this file and that's going to give you my two files. It's going to include a diff file and my POV INI. All right. So all we're going to do, we're going to take those and we're going to drag them and put them in here in the patcher file. You're going to close that. And then over here on the right hand side, if you look, it says original table download. All right. We're going to click that and it's going to give you a link to the table that you need to download. You must download a fresh table. If you've changed just one letter in a script or anything, um, just say you already have this table and you're like, oh, I'm just going to patch the one I got, it will not work. Okay, so you must download a fresh file. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to download it just like that. And then when it comes up, we're going to drag it into our folder also. All right. So here's the table. I'm going to drag it in here. If you didn't already have this table, you can go ahead and put that MV file in your um, NVRAM folder. But this is for the uh, patching purposes. All you're going to do is run this VPU patcher 64. Alright. Now we're going to hit choose original table. And as you can see, it's going to be the rescue 911. Hit open and then it's going to choose the new table patch. Just click that and mine's 911LW. Alright, and then you can name the table whatever you want. You can name it the original name, so if you wanted to copy this and just keep the um, original name of the original table, you can just paste it in here. Just like that. If for some reason you want to name it something else, you can name it the, I usually put LW on the end of mine. You can do whatever you want. And then you're just going to hit apply patch. See another window when the patch is applied? And there it is. It already made, it takes less than a couple seconds. Alright. So you can close this out. And now your mods are going to be, or the table that you made is going to be in this mod folder. So when you open it up, Here's your table. Now the only thing that I do not like about the Remix system is it gives you like a, a double name. So if you have your extensions shown as, as I do here, um, you'll see that it's already a .vpx table, but the mod thing adds another .vpx in the name. So basically what you have to do is delete that. Alright, so you can just right click on it, go down to rename, and then we're going to delete this in part here. Alright, so that's it. Rescue 911, Gottlieb, and uh, LW. So then all you got to do is take that file, <coughs> we're going to drag it out. I'm going to drag it out to my desktop just to show you this. Now I have a the POV that I made, so we're gonna copy this. We're 
we're going to paste it <clears throat> just to make sure that it's named exactly correct. So you want the POV that I made and the table that you just created to be the exact same name. If you don't, the POV will not work. Okay. So then I'm going to go and I'm going to go C, V Pinball, Visual Pinball, Tables. And I'm going to drag the, the I and I and the table into the Tables folder. Just like that. And then when I run my table, let's open, go to tables, we're going to go to rescue 911 LW, and there it is. Alright, hope that helps you guys out. I really think more people should use the patcher system. I mean, this way you don't have, you know, 20 different versions of the same table download. You know, um, everyone has different tastes, but some people have good ideas. So, you know, other people might like it. Uh, my sidewalls and POVs might not be for everybody. Um, but some people might like it. So that's the reason I do the patcher system. And I'm, I'm going to show you right quick how to patch. I'm going to upload uh, Voodoo tonight. Um, I'm going to show you, give you a little peek of kind of what it looks like. Welcome, there you go. You <clears throat> that's my new um, Voodoo update. So we're going to make a new diff for it. All right. So basically, I have my mod that I made with my INI file, and then I downloaded the original Voodoo table. All right. So this is unedited, straight from the download. So all we're going to do is click the patcher system. We're going to click at the top. It says Create Patch. All right. So I'm going to choose the original source. It's just weird. I don't know why it's got all those numbers, but that's the way it was when I downloaded it. So I'm going to open that. And I'm going to choose my mod. So here's Voodoo. Open that. And then you just name it. <clears throat> I'm just going to call it Voodoo LW. Alright. And we're going to hit Create Patch. And it takes just a couple of seconds. And then once it pops up, then you'll have your diff file in the diff folder. And they're very small. Even if you add uh, some good bit of 4K images, the diff file still comes out relatively small. Alright, close that. So now in the diff file, here's my Voodoo LW. I'll upload this here in a few minutes. But that's just to show you how it's made. Um, so if you got any questions, feel free to hit me up. You can uh, drop a comment down below. And I really hope that this helps get more people interested, not only in using the patch system, but to try to be creative, you know, try to make something for yourself. And this way you can kind of freely upload it. You know, some people might like it, some might not, you know, but, um, hey, so till next time.